Today, we're installing an Edge 98609. This is the Edge uh, switch for the EAS system. Uh, this switch kit will actually work with any 12 volt uh, switchable device that you're wanting to that you're wanting to run a switch for and to be able to control it with your edge device. Uh, today what we're using is we're actually using a uh, Superchips trail dash. So, you know, same basic thing. Uh, so to do the wiring on this, and we're not gonna go through our wiring, what, what we're working on on this Jeep is a couple of lights that we've got up here on our windows and they're both on uh, switch power sources. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna roll both of these sets of lights over to switch within the uh, edge trail dash. Now this switch will actually work with two different devices. Uh, so two, you can run two different devices that require a switch power source with this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here on our install. First thing that we're gonna do, and we're not gonna bore you with the wiring, we're gonna uh, wire this up real quick. So the wires coming into here for the edge, you'll have to have a ground, you have, have to have a constant hot, and then you have to have your two switch leads going out these go actually to the devices that you're actually turning off and on so there's a place for two of those so that's what we're going to do right now you can look at like a three post switch i guess and that's the way a three post switch is as well you've got crown or you've got ground you've got constant power and then you've got the switch out the power out to the device itself so that's what we're going to do we're going to switch these over we're going to roll these on to our um, to our edge pigtail and then put everything back together so on these switches, what we had here is again, is we had a constant power, we had your switch source out, and then you had your ground, okay? Uh, your, your ground for the switch. So what I did here is I put all of my wires together, which is really overkill and kind of made for, um, and kind of made for a lot of wires, but what I did is I just cut all my wires back here. I, I, I ran everything together, uh, then crimped them all together so that they were all, they're, they're all still intact, no problems there, so we're gonna run that out to the to the thing. I'm gonna clean that up, but right now what we're gonna do, what we're doing right now is we're gonna put the pigtail in on. Again, uh, you've got your red for constant power, you got your black for your, your ground, your green and your blue are your switch power sources. So I've got all the all of my wiring done. Uh, what I did here, as far as my wiring went, I went. I brought all my grounds in uh, that weren't actually out on the battery. The grounds that were in on the switches, I put them together. I put my constant powers together, which is a little bit of an overkill. I could slim, you know, slim this into one wire, uh, and then my two signal wires. Uh, again, your signal wires are your blue on the edge and your green on the edge. That's the power out to turn your lights on or whatever your device is. Then you've got your red as your constant power and your ground is, or black is ground. So what I'll do is I'll go back in, I'll clean that up, but we're gonna go ahead and finish up our install video by showing, what you, showing you what to do here. So again, we're using a, a trail jammer. Uh, this is our, this is our EAS uh, cord that we're gonna hook up here. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do on your device is you're gonna have an open port on the back for your EAS device. You just wanna go ahead and plug your EAS in there. All right. And now what we will do is we're gonna put it back on the thing. All right. I'll run my cord over and I'll tuck that in in just a second. And then I just simply hook my, my plug in. Directly in. All right, so I'm gonna turn the truck off to reset everything. And I'll turn it back on. And we'll show you how our lights are working. Hopefully they're working. So what you've got to do when you first turn the truck back on, when the uh, EAS comes back, or when the uh, super chip comes up or the edge comes up. You'll have to turn your switches on. So you'll have to turn, you'll have to, uh, 
choose one of your PIDs in your screens to be able to choose your switches on. We're going to show you how to do that now. All right, so I'm going to go out to my main screen that I use every day. Our gray screen right here. I'm just going to touch a couple of the gauges that I really don't uh, use. I've got an extra engine or, uh, engine coolant temperature, so I'm going to just to touch it. I'll go in here to select new PID, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I get to the switch wire, the EAS SW1, which is green. That's the switch wire green, so we're going to push that one, select it, hit enter again, and now we'll come up, and what we'll have in our lower left hand side portion of the screen, hopefully you can see that, is SW1 off. All right, so now we'll go over here to our right-hand side screen, select new PID, SW2 blue, that's our other switch, our other set of lights. Select that one and enter. Hit it one too many times because I get impatient. All right, so now when you touch them, they should both go to on and on. Now let's see if our lights are working. There you go, so touch screen function on your lights now. Off, there's our other ones off, on, and on. So now we got touch screen function on our lights. We'll clean up the rest of our wiring in here and get everything covered back up. So that's our edge 12 volt switch uh, for your edge device, for you, your edge devices that accept EAS. If you have a question on this installation or any of our other installations, please give us a call, thank you.